We continue covering Colorado first at five. As we told you earlier, there is new information about two Thornton police officers who were injured in a shootout today. One officer was shot in the shoulder and is receiving treatment. Another officer got hit with glass or shrapnel and is already out of the hospital. The suspect in that case is dead and the investigation into whether or not he shot himself is now underway. This all happened this morning after a report of shots fired came from a home on Columbine Street. This is the Orchard Farms community near 160th in York. Michael Abeda is your reporter on this story for you tonight. He first brought you this is breaking news on our 24 hour stream CBS News Colorado and joins us now with the latest. Well, Michael, as you said, the one we learned this afternoon in a press conference that one of those officers was shot with other hit with shrapnel. The one who was hit with shrapnel was treated and released. The one who shot still in the hospital with non life threatening in injuries. And it was a frightening scene for everybody in that community this morning. <laughs> Missy Kramer was at work when she got an alarming call from her neighbor and said that there were shots fired at the house across the street from us and that the, the, there was smoke in the house. She rushed back to the Orchard Farm subdivision in Thornton to find a chaotic scene. So the fire alarms were going off in the house. Uh, the cops had blocked all of Columbine. Police let her in her home to get her dog Zeus, but immediately evacuated them again. They had to escort me with bulletproof vests on into my house so I could get my dog. But it was another dog walker that heard a disturbing scene unfolding inside a home around 8 in the morning and called police. That they had heard some popping sounds to what they believe was gunfire as well as some light smoke inside the residence. When police arrived, they surrounded the house and about an hour after the initial call came in, more chaos. A male did present himself from the house with what we believe is a long rifle and began firing at our officers on scene. Two of our officers uh, did take either shrapnel or gunfire. Those officers were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. That's when the SWAT team took over. We did confirm that there was an adult male inside and he was deceased. By midday, the scene had all but disappeared. Missy is surprised that this could happen so close to home. They're just kind of kept to themselves neighbors. They don't really interact. They really don't mingle much with any of the neighbors. So I was really shocked when, when I found out about it. Now, an interesting note, uh, when the SWAT team, before they entered the house, the, they actually used a drone to survey the scene to make sure it was safe for those SWAT officers to enter, and that's before they went into the house. In Thornton, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First. All right,